I'm back! Finally! Ooh. Here I am. Um, everything should be working. Should emphasize on um, that word. Right? This was just not going great. And there's no desktop audio, but I'll, I'll wait because I didn't. Um, silent? Yes, okay, great. Let me just, um, hello, music. Music. Work. There we go. Hey. Okay, okay, finally. I'm like so upset, honestly, about this entire thing. <laughs> It's horrible. Um, yeah. Alright, let me load up what I need to load up. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this was the worst. Like, in the first 45 minutes of this have just been me being like, um, hmm. And now I can actually get to sculpting and doing things that, you know, people care about. Um, which is what I'm here to do. But I guess if it makes anybody feel better, because, like, Every now and then people are like, oh, like, even people who are, tr should be, like, amazing and everything should be flawless and I don't fucking know what else. It's like, you have issues too, I'm like, I have all the issues. <laughs> oh! Yeah, this, uh, I, t God, it's, it's a bad time. Um, was, oh yeah, Quadro. Alright, let me pull up the references and I'm gonna start working. Um, add local image. Alright, so we got this, this, and um, this is actually pretty great. Not, not this, like this picture. Open, please. Okay, alright. Um,. Always on top. Always on top. And then one more picture. This one is on top. So um let's do that. Boom. Boom. There we go. I can actually do work now. You know? <laughs> Um, I just really need, like, this picture. There we go. Okay, this is good enough. I can actually start doing work now. Um, yay! Woo! So, 20 minutes back, you were talking about Dynamesh and subdivisions. Yes, so, um, okay, let me actually load up my UI. Load UI, please. Um, yeah, here we go. There it is. Beautiful. Looks just like him. So, Dynamash, um, right, so a way it... Yes. What? Okay. So, how I do it is sometimes if you just Dynamash with Project On, it won't do what you want it to do. So, what I do instead is I just turn Project Off, turn Blur down, because, I mean, why not? Um, makes it faster. Um, let me just check if everything's going, okay. Uh, how to rotate sub with shift but no on 5 degrees, 1 degrees, for example, how change rotate step. Um, I don't know what, I'm very confused about that sentence. Uh, wait, stream is back on. Need to, need to tell people that things are happening. Okay, um, wait, how do you rotate with shift? Oh, oh, I get it. There's no, yeah, you can only do it by 40, uh, what is it, like 40, half of 90 degree? I don't know, I'm, 
divide a sphere by 4. So it's 360 divided by 4. 90 degrees. I can do math. Um, yeah, I don't know. You can't do that, I think. Um, okay, great. Perfect. Let me actually share it on Facebook because I did not. Um, okay, please, like, log in or something. Also, can you move, please? Okay. I'm talking to my computer like it's a person. <laughs> okay, let me... That. Come on, don't be weird. Ugh. Hey. Alright. Okay. Alright. This was just like. A very interesting experience, I guess. He means about rotate with gizmo and the steps on pressing shift on a Oh I see. Oh uh uh oh 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 I get it. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm like so yeah you just press shift and it's five degrees. There you go. You're doing it. So what was the question I mean when you rotate on circle when you press W on right and in one of the circles with press shift and below is measure. Okay, so what's the question? Oh, how to change the amount instead of, oh, I don't know actually. Um, I don't know if that's possible. Um, that's a good question. If anybody knows the answer to that, it would be great to share. Okay, so I'm just going to like start out with the general shapes first of all. So like very narrow head, but um okay, so it's like oddly high and egg shaped. Um like, you can see that this is kind of short, but then you see how much it angles up in the middle. It's very interesting. I actually didn't notice that when I was, like, picking this. So I'm just going to vaguely uh, walk that in. Um, if I can answer, sorry to interrupt, might be better served by using transpose, then preference transpose is set in rotation to Steps like 90 degrees. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to answer that question. That's a very good one. But if it's not a feature, it should be. Um, so let's make that like less. Also, I do like working in perspective, but I turn the perspective down to like, um, wow, why is the angle of you 90? I mean, that has never happened to me before. <laughs> okay, so I work at like usually around 28. Wow, beautiful. Okay. All right, so first thing, and I'm gonna remove like the eyes for now. Um, so he has like a very convex shape to his head, if you can tell. Um, like very like eh I don't know I can't really draw on top of this but you see what I'm saying and so nose comes out I'm kind of like I usually just uh, try to identify uh, like I squint like I try to get like a blurry vision of like what he looks like that way you don't focus on the detail so it's like you would either squint but squinting causes wrinkles around the eyes so I just be focused <laughs> But that's like the point that uh, of what you should be trying to do is like the way that I look at reference is I try to um, focus on the primary forms first and foremost. Um, so the best way to do that is to just visually remove that in a way and that it makes you see shadow shapes 
more clearly, uh, which is, I, and I keep talking about this, was like I did a lot of traditional sculpting, I mean for like a year, but I did a lot of traditional sculpting before I started using ZBrush. And so what happened was I learned how to look at reference in a way that it helps me start I like because you can't switch between subdivision levels in a sculpture right um and you can't overlay a reference you can't do stuff like that so it's important to figure out like how to approach things in a way that is uh you know productive so one of the areas that i always look at what is what like my hotkey usage today um one of the things that i do a lot is i try to identify like the t-zone first of all and so this this thing is going to be kind of difficult to nail because i don't have like i could not find very good uh front views of this guy but i really like this view anyway so i'm like ah, i don't really care like i'm just trying i'm going to try and replicate uh, this one of you. So the thing that you notice is like he has quite hooded eyelids. Um, I'm gonna add the eyes in pretty soon because working without eyes is no good. But uh, you see, um, like you can really see a lot of the shapes in his head. See that? Like he's making a little bit of an expression in that. Um, one image but he does have like very strong wrinkles and like this uh, random location on his forehead <laughs> um so his cheekbones are actually kind of like far set um also, one of the first things that I try and nail is getting the eyes because it's like once you have one thing that you like or like one thing that um, you feel like really feels like that person, which and why? Um, then it'll help you do everything else well. More so, because like you've uh, you've set a standard for yourself. Also, he has like a much longer jaw. What is with hotkey style? Like, is something wrong with my keyboard? I don't know. Let's see. Like, this is quite um, long. Like, especially in this image, you can see that. Wow! Look at that. That's crazy. No, so I really like this guy's face because it's so unusual. So he, I um, didn't do too much research on who he was, but he was a French wrestler uh, known as the French Angel. Um, and I think he's in like a couple of movies and whatnot. Um, but it's so fascinating to me, like, uh, if you look at a lot of like vintage photos, like you see so many people with such unique faces and I'm like, where did all those people go? <gasps> you know, like you don't really see that anymore, to be honest. Like, do people just get plastic surgery nowadays? Or like, what's the deal? I, I would imagine that not everybody has the money for that. Or maybe people were just way more fascinated by weird looking people back in the day. And um, there's just more photos of them. It's very interesting to me. Oh, and he has like big ears. Oh, not big ears, but his ears. Oh yeah, they are. Wow, he has huge ears. Crazy, okay. <laughs> I just, yeah, I love sculpting this person because I was like, Every time I look at him, I find something new that's very interesting. Um, so this is great. I love it. Alright, so a good way to, uh, what do you notice in a lot of, uh, like how people make ears usually, they end up, there's an issue where people don't have this coming in, right? So a good way to do that is just to, like, mask it out. And while I'm at it, I might as well, like, um you know, 
group it so that later on I don't have issues with that. And I'm going to group the lower jaw so that I don't have issues uh, sculpting the lip area later. So what I do is essentially that. Um, there we go. And, and so this is how I would approach it. I think that's like that works for me the best. Um, let me see what's going on in chat because I have not looked at the chat whatsoever. Oops. Um, uh, that underbite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> um, this guy is so interesting. Seriously. And it's like he has, wow, and that is so concave over here. Oh, did I say his profile was convex earlier? No, no, no. It's concave. Sorry. Confusing words. I'm not a en native English speaker. Give me a break. <laughs> um, but you can, like, really see. It, to a degree, you can totally see what his skull looks like. It's very fascinating. Okay, I'm gonna add the ears in. Um... Not the ears, sorry, the eyes in. Because that will help. No, why are you... I need a new keyboard, I think. There we go. Like, look at how cool that is. Okay. Amazing. Uh, not amazing. Yes, thank you. Um, oh, wow. And you can, wow. Okay, so this guy is like crazy looking. It's pretty great. Also a great way to like get strong forms easily is using H polish. Like that's one of my most used brushes that I don't see that like people using it as much sometimes um okay see like what is going on um way more space like this way and then like actually this area seems to be more forward like that um, and like move that up like that, right? And it's just like wrinkles and whatnot in the back. Um, oops. <laughs> wow, that looks not that great. And then, um, moving to the jaw and figuring out what his jaw really looks like is a little bit difficult. I think um, if I watched his movies and whatnot, I would be able to infer what he looks like from all the angles a little bit better, right? Um, so that's the thing about like sculpting likeness. I always tell people that it's the most important to... Um, I mean, it's, it's great practice to pick somebody, especially if you're just starting out, to pick somebody famous so you can look at videos of them not just pictures because when you see a video you really see how the shapes um move in a three-dimensional space um okay i'm gonna add in the eyes so this is like eh, it's okay um what's going on um references blah 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 uh they got airbrushed out uh, what are you talking about? What, wait, what got airbrushed out? I'm so confused. <laughs> um, let me look at, um, Facebook chat. Because, yeah. Um, no, 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 no sound. Don't do it. There we go. Are you talking about the 
Well, oh wait, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, the guy is the waifu. <laughs> um, wow, I... I'm like so not into this song right now. Um, I'm gonna turn this song down. I really don't like it. Okay. Or no, I can't. I don't have to turn it on. I can take my headphones off. Hey, Leticia's here. What's up? <laughs> no, I'm like, because I can't actually see notifications on the Facebook thing. It's like, this person has joined it. I'm like, oh my god, what are you doing here? <laughs> Why is this? Oh, I'm like, why is this so dark? And I'm like, oh, wrong sub tool. Um, I'm actually not going to use these eyes. I'm going to just um, get some spheres in there. Um. Oh yeah. Also, so yesterday, um, if you guys know uh, Anna Carolina, and or like, I never pronounce her name that way. I'm always like Anna Carolina. I like just pronounce it in like the most Slavic way possible. Um, and then it's like, or alternatively known as Anna. So uh, she's also a Pixelogic streamer and um, like a ZBrush live streamer. And she was one of the people that I at, uh, hello, local symmetry. Yes, uh, she was one of the people who really helped me like start out because I had so many questions about streaming and she helped like told me all the stuff and everybody should check out her work. She's great. Um, and she has such a she has a much nicer personality than I do. I'm always like, wow, I'm so mean um, and not laid back and just. Um. I don't know. I don't consider myself <laughs> to be like. Um. Right. Sorry. Give me a second to figure out the eyes. I always like eyeballed. Haha. -ha, I always eyeball the stuff. Okay. Sorry. Horrible opportunity for a pun, but it had to happen. Also, people like to ask me a lot about how I like do eyes, so here you go, me painting on eyes, because I always do that in ZBrush. Um, you have to break symmetry a lot here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is just supposed to be like a fun sculpt, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then that's what I realized with um, the last project that I was working on on this stream was um, it was just too complicated. It took me like. I worked on it for like too, way too long in my opinion, like two or three streams, so I'm just like, mm, I'm not doing that again. Um, this looks terrifying. It looks... Okay, better. Slightly better. This is not... Okay, I'm going to just solo that out. And um, so what I do, and this is not the best way of doing this, I it's just whatever um let's make his eyes like he looks like a brown-eyed person you know like me um uh what's going on in the chat um just saw the photo loved it and a curly is from my country yes she's so great no um and I showed her around Nomad because I had to go there anyways. And um, yeah, that was a good time. We had burgers. I love burgers. They're the best. It's my, what my life is about. Um, it's like, I don't like talking. No, I'm like, okay, so. Uh, I actually love this topic. I always end up arguing with people about it. Is I so I could never be vegan, right? But um, I'm all about the ethics of veganism, and I'm more like what my goal is. Wait, did I make? Yeah, I made that a little bit too big. So what I'm go just gonna do is I don't really care. Um, I'm just gonna like. Scale that down. Oops. Cause don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. 
Um, uh, no, not soy burgers. Um, I, I also soy is like really bad for you, especially if you're a guy, because it has a lot of estrogen, and you don't want hormonal imbalances in your system. Um, but no, 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 no. I'm all like I could. I don't think I could ever give up meat. But um, what I think is important is like switching to a more ethical consumption. Ethical consumption, like. Uh, reducing consumption and like bring up the quality of life for the livestock, right? And so I'm like, obviously, it's not easy if you don't have the money for it because it can get very expensive. But I think that that's more important. But I think my actual solution is bug flour. I'm like, why don't we just eat, um, you know, products made out of bug flour? Seriously, it's like if people can eat hot dogs, they can eat ground up bugs. It's like you can't tell. Um, um, it would be good to be vegetarian, but meat tastes so damn good. Seriously, I know. No, I'm like, I could never give up prosciutto. I love prosciutto. Um, it's the best. Um. And like, oh my god, it's so funny because my parents are always like, um, very concerned. They're like, are you eating enough meat? And I'm like, do I look like I'm not? <laughs> it's very funny to me. Um, um, the problem for prosciutto in the US is the price. Yeah, it's really expensive. I mean, it's kind of expensive in Europe as well, but it's particularly expensive uh, here. So what I like to do, and if people keep being like, is that a ripoff of like bonds, right? So there's a store, I think it's like a Russian owned, but it's a supermarket that has a lot of like Eastern European products. And you know, I'm all about that. Um, but they have really good salami. I never buy uh, like meat from like chicken. Um, cause I'm like, I don't trust this. Um, it looks like it doesn't smell very good, you know? It, I, I don't know. And they sell a lot of, like, random, more, like, not US typical stuff. So you can find, like, pig feet and things like that. Um, why is this shortcut not working? Okay. Um... So I'm just like quickly building out the eyelids over here, by the way, because people usually have like issues with eyelids, um, especially when they're starting out. It's like, how do I make it happen? And I'm like, well, you just make the shape. There it is. Um, and people like, one of the problems that I see a lot is like wobbliness. So the way to counteract that and to have like a nice clean shape is to use, um, let me switch back to a normal material, um, is to, um, hold up. Uh, I had chocolate covered crickets once, they actually weren't bad. No, somebody else told me that, um, like two days ago or something. And I was like, hmm. You know what, like, I would try it, but that's, like, not exactly what I want. I'm like, I want to buy cricket flour off of Amazon. <laughs> um, come on, you can do this. No? Thank you. Um, so see, right? It's so beautiful. Looks just like him. <laughs> okay, there we go. Placing that. Um, he has like, quite small eyes and they're kind of wide set ish. So even though he doesn't have like much of eyelid space, I like to have it there. Also, I'm going to polygroup this area just to make it easier for me to work with later. And boom, polygroup that. So now, if I'm like, 
I can just move the eyelid down like that. And that way I don't have to deal with any messiness or grossness. It's like, why is it not doing the thing I wanted to do? Me. Um, also, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me. So I'm not constantly monologuing, you know. Uh, like wine, cheese, prosciutto, and prosciutto and cured meat. Um, okay. Also, like I keep talking about this, but um, I think manchego is just the best cheese ever. It really is, and it's not like that expensive, in my opinion. But like people sleep on this cheese, not like actual sleep, but like you know they they don't venture out into eating it. Um, it would be weird if somebody actually slept on it. Um, just make the shape. <laughs> uh, it is cheaper to go to a jewelry store and eat silver. Mm, I don't know how much silver costs, so I can't comment on that. Mm, hello? I'm like having the biggest issue with using the shortcuts. This is very annoying. Um, okay, so I still need to be higher. I mean, this looks nothing like the dude also. Like, I'm going to add the thing, right? Like, I should do this without that on. <gasps> what? Why does it? I don't know what happened. I don't know how it did. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that. That's a thing. Okay. Does he have like? Oh, this is great because you can see what he looks like from the back. You can really see what his skull looks like here. So that's amazing. Yeah. So you can. Oh wow. I'm like, thank you for taking that picture. Is making my life much easier. Um, let's go down. Okay. Um, there we go. Do -de -do -de -do. Um, I've been vegan for about five years and I don't miss eating meat at all. I hadn't noticed any major health changes other than uh, heartburn, but that could have occurred from getting older. Yeah, that's possible. No, I'm all like, I support veganism. I'm just like, I can't do it. Um, but if you can, great. <laughs> I'm just not, I can't. And I'm like, a, I'm a picky eater. So it's like, if I don't eat me, like, what am I gonna eat, you know? It's so like half of my diet is that, which could be possibly slightly concerning. It's like, uh, um, but not meat, but like animal-based products. So I'm like, oh, I eat cheese a lot. I love dairy. Dairy is so bad for you. I was talking about this last stream. I'm like, milk is so bad for you. But seriously, milk is horrible. Um, I try to not drink it very much i forgot why but for some reason cheese is not as bad as milk His, this is weird because i'm like how does that happen how do you have such a the reference photos of this guy are just very interesting because i'm like what's going on oh this is a great picture because i'm like oh i can more easily match what's happening this is a good reference photo um, I'm like, okay, I can totally see what is going on. And so I like doing likenesses because it's kind of like a puzzle in a way. Um, because you're like, oh, like, why does that look like this from one angle? And, but then looks like that from another angle. It's like, you're just solving a mystery. Somebody's face. Um, what is going on? What I learned 
that the silver on Indian treats was actual silver. I almost had a panic attack. What? He had acromegaly, so his head grew a lot. That's why his eyes are so small. Yeah, his eyes are really small. I need to, like, accentuate that. Also, I didn't know that that's a thing. I need to look that up more. That sounds very interesting. Um... I'm like I'm having a little bit of a hard time figuring out what is going on. Um, oh, and his eyes are more forward, I think. I don't know. I do not know. Um, yeah, I'm actually, this is interesting for me because it's very much outside of my comfort zone, which is not exactly the best idea if you're streaming where it's like, oh, you should be showing off what you know, not what you don't know. But I'm like, ugh, I don't really have that much time to do stuff I like. I like personal projects. So I'm like, mm, I'm streaming. This is the time when I am committing to actually doing some work. So I might as well do stuff that I like doing um, and find interesting. Oh, and there's like way more space in here. I made him look more normal, which bothers me. Like this should be more in. So maybe the eyes should just be smaller, period. Like more in, maybe? Uh, his face is full of details. The nose is a bit out of symmetry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not breaking symmetry just yet. Um, and so I'm like, I have like the basic proportion, kind of. Um, let me fill out the bottom over here. I've been debating to start streaming the work I'm doing at Nomen. Oh, do it! Um, or maybe don't do it. Um, because I could never, like, if I was... I don't know, man. Like, do you really want the world to see you try and learn? Because it puts a pressure on you. Like, streaming puts a pressure on you to perform optimally. Because, you know, people are watching, right? And so the problem with that is you don't have that much of a chance to learn. And that's the only thing that I don't like. If I'm doing something more technical, I would never stream it because um, it's just like, well, first of all, people don't really want to watch that. But also, like, I run into so many issues and I'm like, nobody wants to see this <laughs> or nobody should at least um, want to see that. It's like, if you do, I have some questions. I just really like, like, him looking off into the distance. Okay, let's, let's, um... Let's see what's going on here. This could go back, this could go forward, um, this, like, boom, and like that, you can really see stuff that's going on here, then, oh, the entire brow area is just not shaped correctly, from what I can tell, um, like, that, in my opinion, yeah, it's way more what that's actually doing. Um, what's going on? Because full sale is expensive and lame. I have, um, okay, I'm not gonna talk about like, wait, what? Nomen is an amazing school with amazing connections. Yes, it is, honestly, like, um. What I like about Nomen is that all the teachers are people who actually like work in the industry and so the information that you're getting is current. Whereas with a lot of arts, other art schools it's like the 
teachers are teachers and you know that usually means that they were not good enough to actually work in the field so they resorted to teaching because people who actually work most of the time like in this industry like don't have a master's degree also um so let's get him like a little bit of an eyebrow it's gonna help me figure, like, gauge how things should look if I give him one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um. Let's see. I might get the nostrils. Boom. Nostril man. It is nostril man. There he is. I actually have I have a hard time understanding. It's like a very simple nose, actually. It's like you can see that the cartilage here. A little more like that. Um, um, then inflate everything. Wait, what's going on in chat? Um... Just because somebody is a good artist doesn't mean they are a good teacher. Yes, that too. So um, that's one thing about like me. I'm like, I would love to teach, but I don't know if I'm a good teacher, to be honest. And you know what? I um, I don't know, because I'm like, I like um, helping people. I like helping people learn and analyze their um, problems, <laughs> right? Um... Okay, there we go. Um, that his nose looks like a four, but whatever. Um, yeah, this does not look like the guy. Uh, uh, I'm so angry at myself. I am so angry at myself, honestly. I'm like, ugh, this is not uh, like it's. It just seems to me that I'm not pushing the forms correctly. Um, I'm like too- and I'm normalizing it too much, you know? I'm making him too pretty. Um, which is a problem. Um, what does he look like? I'm like, ugh. Don't worry, we'll get there. This is a learning experience. For everyone, I guess. I'm like, this is a great- like, this is an okay angle, I guess, but like, it's not that great. I'm gonna have to look at more photos of him because um, I'm not like I don't I don't have the information. I'm like I don't know what that looks like, and I'm winging it. So that's one thing that I always tell people is like you have to look at reference. It's detrimental. It really is. Um, what would put you in the category of good- Oh! Uh, what's going on? Hello, can you make in the future some robot type sci-fi for type anime? I mean sculpt and ZBrush, thanks. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of doing hand surface and ZBrush to be honest because I like- like I'm like, okay, well if I'm going to be modeling this, it might as well have good topology. And it's not fun retopologizing stuff. Um, then you probably have to know how to be... And then you probably have the know-how to be a great teacher. There are lots of teachers who just never made it and became a teacher. Like, I had a, a film teacher there was in the industry, but he just held the mic arm. And here he's teaching us to use a camera and edit film. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Also, I'm doing just like... I'm gonna look at more reference, to be honest. Like, I can't deal with this. Let me look at what's happening in, um, in chat. Yes, hello, hello, everybody. Yes, the lower lip is more... Pro oh, it's like way more prominent, actually. Like, there's an entire shape here that I'm missing. Okay. I'm like, I have no issues. So that's the thing is like, uh, being able to move forward has a lot to do with being able to see your own mistakes 
And I think that's essentially like um, how you become a better artist is like learning how to objectively see your work and understanding how to fix it, you know? Because it's like if you don't have that, then okay, I'm gonna remove the paint. Yeah, that this actually looks better. I think I didn't do his eyes justice. It's fine. Oh, this might actually make it easier for me to understand what I'm missing and whatnot. Like, ugh, look at that. I wouldn't trust a teacher who he doesn't use or have <laughs> red flags and <laughs> Hey, hey, who's the guy face is super interesting. So his name is uh, Maurice, Maurice what? Maurice, uh, I forgot his last name. Oops, it is, let me tell you. It's um, learning to see and being honest and enough to be wrong. Yes. Uh, no, ex well, I mean, ev like, everybody's wrong. No, you can always improve your work, no matter who you are. Um, where is stream? So is, oh, I literally, s oh, till it. Okay, there we go. Um, Maurice till it. I, I, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly because he's French. So it's this guy. Right. Um, this is a good picture, I think. Mm. I can use that. He's he's too smiley. Right. Okay. Let's put this back. Yes. I just googled him and the first pick is a comparison between him and Shrek. <laughs> yeah, unfor I mean, poor guy. <laughs> um, let me look at um, chat, true, but ego and fear keeps many people from learning. Yeah, no, that's, that's a thing is um, it's easier to not deal with those emotions, right? Um, but to be honest, he's like such a smiley guy. Can you like be neutral? Can you please be neutral? Oh, this is a great photo. Wow, that's a great picture. Thank you for existing. This is making my life so much easier. I'm like, okay, I'm missing like this entire form over here. That's happening. Mm, yeah, so this is way more prominent. I'm like giving myself notes on how to fix this. The eyelids are just not good. Like, let's fix that. I'm like, I actually don't know what his eye shape looks like, which I'm not a big fan of. Oh, this is a great picture. Oh, okay, I totally see what's happening now. Okay, so it's like literally like that. And then like... Um, I mean, the entire proportion of the- the proportions of the face, I- I'm like, mm, this is not good. I need to fix this. Um... Let's see, the nose curvature is round like the hood of a sports car, you have it? More curving the wrong way. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, wow, no, that's bad. <laughs> that's funny. Um, like a little bit of something like that. And then this over here is like... 
Okay, this is like terrifying slightly, so let's... Yeah. He looks so, like, way more disinterested. I don't know how to... Nope, move that up. It's like his eyes look like this. Yeah, that's better. Alrighty. Wow, I feel so much better now. <laughs> um, I think an important thing is... So, like, one of the issues that I have when it comes to streaming is... um, Right, I feel like there's pressure for me to do things quickly. And I think that I don't really take the time to analyze the reference properly. Um... So that sucks, but it's fine. Um, it's like, I mean, this just doesn't look great. Um, it's a, wait, what? What is the problem with red wax and what is it? Are you referring to the default material? Uh, uh, um, it's the default uh, material, blah, 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 yes. Um, I don't, yeah, red wax is terrifying. I've met only one, like there's only one project I've seen that looked good with red wax on and that's it. And I'm actually surprised that I, that I found it in the first place. Um. And he has like quite a bit of like stuff going on at the bottom. Oh, I think I'm hungry. My stomach is making sounds. <laughs> um, in general, red wax. Oh yeah, people are talking about red wax. I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm not reading this stuff. Too much red wax talk. Um, let me check. Facebook. Uh, his ears are bigger than what you have on your model, I believe. Wouldn't you agree? Um, yeah. Yes. Yes, they are. Thank you for pointing that out. So I'm like, okay. Um, then like this pops up more also. Like this is pretty strong. Um, and then, like, his cheekbones actually, like, come out a lot. Oh my god. So I'm like, what does this even look like? Oh my god. <laughs> that This is why I need, like, a friend view. Like, a good friend view of him. Because I'm like, um, poor man. I'm like, not give, doing this man's face justice. <laughs> this is a little bit... Ladder... There we go. Um, Take me just a little more curvature here. Um, the forehead is interesting. Yes, it is. Um, Okay, it's starting to look more like him, so I'm happy about that, but also, it's like, um, okay, there we go. I'm, like, lacking depth in the face, essentially, around the eyes, right? I'm like, that's not how it should look. He kind of looks like beautiful Squidward now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, like, shape this down. Yeah, I can improve it. Okay, so it's getting better. I can tell myself that at least. Um, and his eyes are like up, up slopey, like down. Here. I'm so hungry actually, I just realized this. 
Um, I don't like thinking about hunger. Okay, so I'm like still working on making the eyelids look right. Like, I mean, I'm gonna get into the specifics of uh, eyelids and making sure that it feels like it's actually like forms moving on top of each other. Because you can definitely feel that right like that. And then it's like, oh, bone. And it's like, oh, on top of bone. Eyebrow. Right. So you get something that's more like that. Looks more accurate. Something with like this shape over here. Um. So I'm like, okay, there's obviously a shape that I'm missing, like in this area, and like over here, this could be more prominent. Um, right. Also, uh, wait, what's going on? This guy looks tough, I bet. If you punch his chin, you <laughs> knock out instead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna work on the ears just a little bit because right now it's kind of, they're not up to the same level as everything else. And that's uh, jarring. So I'm just gonna, you know, turn on back face mask. Cause that's important. Um, And now I'm like, how do ears look like again? I'm gonna have the subdivision level on this. Um, okay, watching. Chief, what? Chat window in the way. Oh, 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 thank you for pointing that out. I forgot that. Yeah, chat window. Sorry. I am so sorry about that. I am back with the chat window not covering what I'm working on. <gasps> um, let's see. Um, there. I might have to like redynamish this because it's like ugly topology, but I'm also might just not care enough. I'm like meh, I'll fix it. I can zero mesh this. Um, so like when I actually yeah, because I already oops, have all the form the general forms that I need. Reprojecting might be a good next step. Um, what's going on? Do you move around the ZBrush light often or usually at the final stages of sculpting? Okay, so I, uh, yeah, I actually do. Mm, Alright, let's see. No, I do. Um, once I get to a point where I'm like, okay, time to like uh, sit back and like critique my own work. Um, it also depends like what I'm trying to do, right? So it's like, if I know how I'm going to be lighting it and whatever it is that I'm going to be rendering it out in, yeah, I move around the light because um, it will give me a better idea of how things should look. You know what? I actually really like using this shader to figure out if forms are looking good. It says, uh, I love this shader. It's so great. Um, use this all the time. Um, it really it, like shows you uh what things look like so that's the thing it's like if you feel like you're stuck with your own work and you're like oh i can tell that it's uh not looking good 
um, but I don't know why. So this shader, changing the lighting, and also like taking a photo and posting it on social media <laughs> works because it's like the moment you, you um, feel like pressure or whatever, that's the moment you're like, oh my god, I see everything that I've done wrong and all my regrets in life at the same time. <laughs> Um, does it leave the middle of the air and the top one? Why is it called green metallic when it's blue? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. That's very, that's funny. Alright, so that's starting to look better. I sketch around a lot with just like different brushes. I'm like, this is not the most productive always, but who cares? Um... It's like sometimes just adding little doodly forms is just helpful. Or like fun, or like, I don't know, it's like sometimes you actually have to mess up your work in order to see everything else that's wrong with it which is why it's always easier for you to it's like if you're critiquing other people's work and you're like sculpting over it it's always easier than analyzing the problems within your own work right um especially if you feel like you've been looking at your own work for like too long so i like to just like mess something up and then pretend that it's somebody else's work and <laughs> that helps me fix everything else. Um, I don't like how that looks, but whatever, like, we'll fix it. I feel like that's not the correct shape for him. Um, what's going on? Your monic- oh. <laughs> um, um, what is going on with chat? Okay, everything's going great! <laughs> uh, every now and then I do weird things, I'm sorry. It's my life. Um, okay, let's look at other photos with this guy. Wow, that is weird. Oh, that's a pretty good picture. Um, I found one really great photo. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Mm. I feel like his nose is possibly bigger than what I got. Like, it's puffier. Probably got punched in the nose a lot or something. Like he has a form over there that I'm missing. I just feel like I'm making his it's like too snouty. It has to be more like that. And then like more pronounced over here. I need to buy an SSD, you know? My my computer sometimes sounds like it's like a ready to take off. <laughs> it's horrible. So like this is way more pronounced. Um this also it's just like that. Um it's like do 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 and now we win every now and then I sing on my streams even though I don't know how to sing. <laughs> Sorry. Um the blue is faked environment and reflection, the green is the highlight area. Uh, I feel the- wait, what's going on? Uh, I feel the nostrils are too high and the sculpt, the base of his nose is almost flat. The what? Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. No, 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 I see it. And then like also like this happens like later. There we go. 
Oh yeah, you know what I see? Like, yeah, in that angle, looks like that, my side. And then, yeah. Oh, so weird. I don't like, like, mm -mm, no. Needs more definition. Um. Like this area. Alright. You can clearly tell what's going on in the photos. Just gonna add more form back on this. It's a little bit too much pronounced roundness. Maybe if I. Oh, no! Too cute! Too cute of a nose. <laughs> Um, I need to add like more form in here. Um, do you find expressions to play a big part in the likeness? Yeah, if you're going after us, but yes. Um, so there are people where it's just like, yeah, so that's like way too round. Um, I think a lot of times. Uh, the way that people are recognizable is when they're moving. So how somebody moves is a very big part of it. And I think that depending, uh, like there are people who look the most like themselves in a specific facial expression because it's like they're very animated and people remember them by that. And then um, that's going to be what's most recognizable about them, right? Um... Let me just do this. It's uh, great. You're gonna do the poly paint also. I might. I might. It's not the worst of ideas. Um, I might do like a black and white poly paint though. Um, okay, let's see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know how I did that. It's whatever. Who cares? Like. <laughs> that's funny. Um, let's see, I feel like... Yeah, it has... It's not even that, it's also just that, like, this comes in a lot, I guess. So you can't even see his nose from that angle. Um, it keeps spilling water all the time. It's horrible. Um, what's going on? Um, there we go. Okay. Oh, terrifying. No, he's like, he doesn't look like that, you know? I don't know if I'm. I don't. Uh, let's find out if I'm doing better or worse. Put the eye area. Hmm. Aw, look at him. Okay, let me change up the lighting a little bit. Um. Like, oh, look. But also, it's sometimes uh, with facial expressions, it's... Oh, very interesting. I'm seeing a plane there that I did not notice before. But if you look at him, it's like with the eyebrows. See that? I was completely like missing this shape over here. Right, so I'm like, boom, shape. Shape is there. And then I can come back in and be like, yeah, okay, eyebrow. Mr. Eyebrow Man. Um, and I can do this. Mmm, I don't like it. I don't think it looks better. 
uh, Donna, you're doing great. When you are, uh, when are you going to break symmetry? So, by the way, hi Jesse, what's up? Um, I think I want to feel like it looks like him enough, um, for me to be like, okay, yeah, this is I can break symmetry now. Because with uh, breaking symmetry, I think is one of the last things that I do. Because it like sculpting asymmetrically is a hard time a lot of times. Um, so I avoid it until unless until it's uh, no. I don't know if I I try to take out all the stuff that is symmetrical first. And then I, um, let me move this like here a little bit. Um, uh, okay, there we go. So with symmetry, um, I also do it on a layer just because from a production standpoint, <sighs> symmetry is just so much easier to deal with. And it's like the same thing. Um, I would also, if I'm doing something asymmetrical, then I would figure out the topology first on a symmetrical model. Re apologize. Uh, do the UVs. The UVs. I have like mm, it has to be symmetrical, right? Um, and after I've done all of that stuff, that I feel like it's not going. I'm not going to have any issues later down the pipeline or somebody else if you know it's being passed off um, to like a rigger. <laughs> um, then you would just do the. Asymmetry is a blend shape, right? Because um, otherwise, nobody's going to be very happy. Um, what's going on? Are you going to retop on him as well once you're done? No, I'm honestly only doing this as like a fun practice. I'm. I don't plan on like rendering this out or anything. Is, um, I'm going to actually start, I'm like, I need to update my portfolio because I'm like, I need a job to sponsor me so I can stay in the US. Um, but I'm like, I feel like the current state of my portfolio is such that it doesn't really show off much um, technical ability. It's like, oh, like I'm an artist. I obviously know how to do the art stuff, but it doesn't really show much of, um, production and knowledge which i have i just very rarely do like breakdowns and things like that um which is fine because like most of the work uh that i'm like oh this is all like stuff it's like it's all the production stuff is either like nda or um like i did it while i was still learning how to do stuff so now when i look at it retrospectively i'm like oh i could do that so much better now i'm like i i know my mistakes from the past so i'm like i don't want to show people this like mediocre thing when i know how to do the thing better now um so i'm gonna be working on a fill hail painting which should be great um i don't i'm not loving the eyebrows on this i'm just gonna like um what's going on uh you do the symmetry on a new layer i'm looking forward to seeing how that works oh i can show you like quickly so say i was like oh this is the best thing i've ever made i'm ready to move on and by the way like i, I need to do that because i'm like from like a design standpoint, I'm like, ugh, no, it has to be a bust. It has to have like a nice silhouette. So same, and let me give him like collarbones or something. Um, tips for a person that is 100% new at ZBrush. Watch the ZBrush classroom videos. So um, another thing is like, don't get caught up in the detail. Do not get caught up in the detail. That's one of the biggest problems that people have is that then another thing is like, just do simple, simple projects. And like, say you want to learn, like you're watching a Z classroom video and you learn about some new tool or whatever. And you're like, oh, I want to learn how to do this. The best way to do that is to do something very simple so you're like oh i want to learn how to i don't know like do poly paint stuff or like no i want to learn 
whatever, like how to use this brush, just, I don't know, do something simple like sculpt a banana? I don't know. <laughs> don't go, like, don't overcomplicate stuff for yourself too soon. Um, because that's uh, going to hinder you the most. Uh, you know, it's like if, if you jump into things like too quickly, too big, then um, it, it will be a very like daunting experience and you, you're mo more likely to end up with a negative experience if you take on something that's just like too much. Um, let me just do that and give him like an Adam's apple. Um, Mm, by never showing the old stuff, you'll either stop improving or you'll never complete a full portfolio. Oh, no, no, no. I show the old stuff. I just don't show the topology or, like, the UVs and, like, how I set things up. So I'm, like, um, like, I'm thinking of this one specific piece where I'm, like, oh, my God, I'm, like, 90% 95% done with this, kind of. But, um, like, I, I want to show it, but I want to show the cool stuff, not the stuff that I'm like, oh, this could be done better. Um, so I have like two options. I'm like, oh, I either rebake and redo the texturing on it, um, like reorganize the UVs, because I'm like, oh, the UVs are not optimized very much. Um, like I have some amount of optimization going on, but it could be so much better. Um, so, because it's like a game uh, character, right? So. I'm like, this is... Okay, I'm gonna stop working on that. I'm like, I need more reference, but whatever. I'm quickly going to show you how to do layer-related stuff. So it's like if I were to approach asymmetry, because people keep asking me. Um, so I do this, and I'm like, okay, layer number one. Do not sculpt on layer number one. Layer number one is the like thing you want to always slide back to. So what I do is I just, um, let me like rename it, name, base, uh, like base layer, or whatever, ah, uh, weird, okay, and so this would be like, let's say I name this and I'm like, symmetry layer, I don't know if I spelled symmetry correctly, but who cares? So what I would do is something like this. And what you want to do with layers is you always want to go crazy. You want to go crazier than you think. Because uh, you can't. You have a slider, right? So you can always go back and make it less amplified if you want. So it's like if I was like, all right, I'm here. I can add asymmetry. Let me look at how this guy looks like. Um... Hey, Servando, I see you seeing me. What's up? <laughs> um, where is this guy? Show me your nose. Well, whatever. Who cares? I'm just gonna do like a quick example. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. His nose is so asymmetrical. That's crazy. So it's like, oops. So what I would do is I would do, all right, I'm like, okay, and then like, let's make it something like that. You're like, eh, amazing. Let's say he's smiling and then he's like squinting, right? And like squint. Mm. Or whatever, and I'm like, make ear asymmetrical. Like, meh, meh. Oh, I could work on the ears more. I should do that. So it's like, you're like, okay, so this seems very neutral in a way. So it's like, if I were to be like, oh, let's amplify it more. And like, squint more. Also, like, honestly, I would, for specific parts of the face, like, I would add symmetry in different locations, so I would be like, eye asymmetry, nose asymmetry, this and that asymmetry. It's kind of like working with blend shapes, right? Um, so you can control individually like what looks better, what, what looks worse. Um, that would be like me. 
Oh, that looks more like him. Yeah. So say I do something like that, I'm like, yeah, like change that up. Do something like that. So what you do is you do that, right? And then you stop recording and then you can slide back to a more neutral pose, right? So you can do it like that. And that's like a slight asymmetry. Or you can have that, and that's crazy. If you have that, you can always tone it down. And that, the, then you also, it's a good thing. Um, uh, to do this, right? Because especially, especially if it's not personal work and like whoever's, like you have somebody who's like art directing your thing and like whoever your supervisor is can be like, okay, yes, I like this better or I like this worse or like make it more or make it less. And so it's adjustable and that's very important. Um, is that also, it's like, I always do this with like skin detail um, like say, I'm like, oh, wrinkle, I'm quickly going to do one more layer. Let's say like wrinkle, wrinkle layer, whatever. Um, and I would be like, okay. So I always want to amp stuff up. Um, Um, let's make that happen. So, you're, you're like, even if it's too much, you can always tone it down. So that's important. Um, like, say I'm doing something like this. Ah! So, oops. Like, I mean, this is not how I would approach making wrinkles optimally. Um, but just an example so I can show you guys how I would. Like, this is a way to do it, right? This is not the best. Like, please don't don't look at the quality of that. Or like with lips, right? I would be like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, yeah. You always want to, like, overdo stuff. Or whatever, right? I'm like, that looks questionable, but I wouldn't... If I wanted things to be subtle... Okay, I'm just quickly going to, like, do a thing. For demonstration purposes, right? I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things are happening. Um, right, so I'm like, lips. Actually, that's not too extreme. Um, whatever. And so, what? Oops, I delete that, please. Yes, okay. And so I can always tone it down, right? And so that looks more formidable. But I can always amp it up if I want. Alright. So that's how I would do that, but I'm not liking. Alright, and that, this is the thing. This is how it looks like. How it looks like now. Um, let me check the chat in case somebody is talking to me. Um. Let me see what's going on. There we go, I'm back. Um, I am back. Can you export these layered as, uh, uh, layers out as blend shapes? Yeah, so that's kind of... Well, you would just export out the OBJ, right? Um, and like, bake the EXRs and what, oh, whatever it is that you're baking. Um... um Yes, I caught you live. I want to make coffee and enjoy. Thank you. That's sweet. Um, have a great time drinking your coffee, I guess. <laughs> and I hope you like the stream. Eh? Um, 
Lots of people who stream on here have Discord channels with room for sharing and getting feedback on your work. I still don't know how to use Discord. I have it on my computer. I downloaded it because I was like, okay, I need to get on this. And I still have no idea how to Discord. Um, what's going on? Uh, somebody asked me if I teach, how much would you charge per hour? Um, so I don't teach and like pricing is always like a negotiation. So I, and I also don't like stating numbers online, like publicly, cause it's like, I'm like, okay, I'm 22, right? I literally started, like I graduated a year ago. Um, and if I state a number right now, in public, like public, on something that's like on the internet, people see it, um, it, you're kind of like uh, locking yourself into that. And I'm like, it's too early in my career for me to do that. <laughs> so I'm not stating, but no, I'm currently not teaching. Um, I would love to though. It's like, hello, what's up? <laughs> um what's going on um uh do i have a discord channel no i don't uh, should i should i have a discord channel do people want a, for me to have a discord channel yes no question mark <laughs> um uh my god i'm glad to hear that i'm discord less <laughs> um if you can't figure out ZBrush, you can figure out Discord. Yeah, I'll do it, I guess. Um, enough to chat and hang out, at least. I have Discord, but no clue. Um, hit them with the Gumroads. No, I Gumroads great. I need to. I need to get on that. No, I mean get on that. I want to make some stuff for uh, Gumroad. Actually, uh, hello, people who want to send their money my way for cool products on Gumroad. <laughs> what um, types of things would you wanna see? Like tutorials or like brushes or like who knows, I don't know. Um, so if anybody has like ideas of what they would want from me, you are more than welcome to um, let me know so I know what the demand is. <laughs> um, is it possible to animate the face with layers? You can't animate and see. There's a timeline, like an animation timeline, but you like, even if, I don't know, like the short answer, no. Um, what's going on? Uh, everything, all of the above. I have no idea what's going on. I, all of the above what? I'm so confused. I am so confused. Okay, let's see if, where can I get such a radiant eyeshadow? Well, Miguel, um, I can send you some links. <laughs> no, my eyeshadow is looking great today. Hold up. I'm like, uh, I'm very passionate about like glitter, right? I don't know if this is like picking up very well. Let me check on all my eh, Can you see that? Amazing, right? I I'm like, <laughs> I'm such a great streamer, right? Yeah, doing the best job ever. I'm like, yeah, I do art, what's up? Come watch me talk about glitter on my eyelids. Um, also, this is from yesterday. Like, I actually, I was very tired, okay? I was very tired when I got home and I fell asleep with my makeup on, which is not what you should do, but it happened. So this is actually my makeup from yesterday. Huh? Yeah, impressed yet? Want to know what I use if you're if you wear makeup yourself and are just tired of the lack of uh, longevity? I don't know how you pronounce that word. Uh, for your Gumroad, all of the above. Um, I'm still looking for a Gumroad that shows me where to find the make a cool model button. Um, Oops, yeah, okay, let's bake these, by the way. I was like, I don't. 
Uh, okay. Weird. Hello, what's happening? Why is my computer acting weird? Okay. Um, so I'm just going to remove all of this stuff and bake it down. And, um, you know, go back to sculpting and doing what I'm here to do instead of talking about my eyeshadow. I'm very passionate about my eyeshadow, okay? It's like that energy has to go somewhere. Um, sorry. <laughs> I know, like, most of the people who watch my streams are dudes who don't wear makeup, so people just don't care, but I'm like, no, like, this is my life, if you don't want to watch my streams, you're more than welcome not to. <sighs> um, which is, like, I find it funny whenever people comment something like, you talk too much, you need to do more, like, this or that, and I'm like, you don't have to watch my stream if you don't like my stream. Did like you're not paying me. I'm not getting money from you. So like why would I do something that I don't think is interesting or like just be myself? It's like you know like um what's going on? Um <laughs> um oh yeah we but we need to learn makeup to texture female characters okay okay question mark this is for all the people who are like i'm a dude i don't know what anything is related to makeup i suck at female characters because i always give them obnoxious eyeshadow and it looks bad um if you're that person um <laughs> or not if you're not that person wh whatever whoever you are um so I'm actually thinking maybe like putting together a guide on how to approach makeup for 3D and texturing and whatnot. And because makeup, okay, so the thing is like it's not universal, right? A lot of it is figuring out like you have a specific face shape and you have to know what looks good. And so maybe I can put together like a guide on what types of makeup work with what types of features. So that way, um, you know, it's still like art related. It's not like a makeup tutorial. It's more like these types of colors and these types of um, like, you know, shadow and like lines and whatnot. Like this is the illusion that they create. Cause a lot of uh, with makeup is like, you make it to accentuate certain features, but it can also like change a lot and how somebody looks. Um, so I can do that um, if anybody is interested. Um, that would be a good bu uh, guide. I'd buy it. Perfect. I'm like, hmm, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, uh, I'd buy it. Not many people do three makeup drills or tips and tricks. You're welcome. I'll do it. I'm like, I need to do stuff anyways. Oh my god, life. <laughs> Um, okay, so like, this is like so low, low res compared to like the rest of the face. I'm like, um, hello, what are you doing? Um, okay, let's put that there. Also, okay, so I have like 40 minutes left of streaming. So if anybody uh, has any specific questions or stuff that they would like me to go over, feel free to let me know. Um... Uh, good work. Wish you all well from the side of the Atlantic. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Um, I really like your art. Keep it up. Thank you so much. This is very kind. Cat eyeliner on everyone. No, that's bad. I have nothing to complain about the stream. I'm le learning and having a good time, so keep it up. Thank you. I feel way better about myself. <laughs> I'm always like, because like, Actually, this stream has been amazing. Thank you to everybody who's in the chat right now. Um, you're great. No, this, like, nobody has been rude to me today. Nobody has, like, tried art directing my work. Nobody's said anything obnoxious. Like, thank you. Please, I hope I did not jinx that. Um, don't do that, please. But, um, 
Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> um. Um, yeah. Let's work on his face just a little more. But yeah, so what I was saying was, so I have like, you know, 40 minutes left. If, if anybody wants me to go over anything specific um, that I think I could do at this stage, let me know so I can do that. Because I'm like, I'm, at this point, I'm like, all right, um, time. Maybe I can sculpt the lips. Like, I don't want to go too detailed just yet. Um, I'm just kind of like having fun with this, right? Uh, many Twitch users just like to get a rise uh, in real time out of their streamer. Oh, yeah, I mean, but I don't. I'm just like, what's wrong with you? Please get a life. But I, I'm like, it's like, why? Um, yeah, um, the stream could be longer. I mean, I don't know, I could, uh, see, I'm like, it could, but, oh, well, yeah, the first hour of the stream was just a dumpster fire, right? It was horrible, like, my computer was not having it. Um, but, um, man, I don't know if I can stream, well, I don't know if anybody scheduled after me, first of all, that's a possibility. Um, but second of all, also is the, wait, let me move this here. Second of all, um, I'm a busy woman. <laughs> no, I do. I have, I need to do work. So, um, and I have like my own stuff that I need to work on as well. Um, so like, you know, it's like, I don't have the time. And I'm really hungry. Like, I can't wait to eat. Um, that's truly, like, what I really want to do right now. Um, okay. So, actually, I like talking about, like, shape design. Because it's, like, if you're a character, like, a 3D character or a sculptor or whatever, you're still a designer. You're just designing in a three-dimensional space. Um... And so it's important to understand how shapes look and should look. So like right now there's like this weird wobbly S-curve around here that I'm not loving. So it's always important to like understand how like simplicity works also. Um, like that's more up. Um, and then... I think there could be a little bit more return on there. What's going on? Um, I tried one time to give feedback, but Donna was faster at sculpting than me at typing, so I gave up. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Are you gonna make the mouth cavity? No, see, I'm just like, this is a doodle, right? I'm not, I don't plan on doing anything with this other than like just doing a simple ZBrush render and calling it a day. Um, I could, what I could do though, because like right now this is not looking too hot, is, um, let me just remove that, is I can, um, hold up, do this, so a great trick, yeah, because, um, you know, you can, yeah, do something like that, Ooh. So do that, and then, um, you know, something like this, so that there's a clear separation in there. Um, oh so, yeah. I mean, that's not perfect, but it works. Ultimately, you, you would want a mouth bag, right? Ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. Uh-uh. Not a good time. Going back in time to, like, yeah. Yeah, I'll just keep it at this, to be honest. 
Um, where is this guy from? I think he's French. Um, are Pixelogic planning to do some sales on Black Friday? I have no idea because I don't work there. <laughs> Um, it would be cool if they did, but I think, I know that ZBrush itself is only on sale during the ZBrush Summit. Um, okay, let's work on like this area actually, oh yeah, like the chin. I feel like I've completely neglected this area. Um, um, What is going on in the chat? Um, let's see. Um, you, I thought you were blocked till, wait, what's going on? I have no idea what's going on. Let me like catch up with the chat because I've gone to the point where I'm like, ignore. <laughs> mm. Um, tried one time to give feedback, but, oh wait, what? Oh, I completely misunderstood what you said. I can fully understand how anyone streaming would be put off by others just screwing around. <laughs> um, I thought you were blocked till five. No, I, no, it's till four. Um, also, this is fantastic. Thank you. Um, da -da -da. Any good tutorials about fiber mesh? Let's say make hair or beard. Honestly, I don't know. I, if there is one, tell me. Cause uh, it's I'm like my lips are so dry. Also, this is the best. <laughs> Tastes like cherry, even though it says that it's strawberry. I don't know. Um. Um, there was also a helpful talk about fiber mesh by Damien at the ZBrush Summit. Oh, what year is that from? Also, I need to, like, actually watch all the stuff from the ZBrush Summit this year. Because there's always so much knowledge, and I was, like, too busy, mm, you know, talking to people <laughs> and hanging out um, during the summit. So I don't know. Um, I need to, like, I've only watched a couple of talks. Um, this could be, like, over Like, there we go. Um. Like, fiber mesh is good for, um, visualization in ZBrush. Like, um, so like Hossein Diba is so good at fiber mesh. I'm just like, what? Whenever people know how to use fiber mesh, I'm like, how? How? <laughs> so difficult, in my opinion, um, to use it. Um, but I do use it sometimes. Um, let's see. So I think I'm gonna get some water because I've been talking a lot and I am dehydrated. Oh, actually, I think the distance between, um, like, the mouth nose, I don't know, it looks different. This also, like, focal depth is messing up, like, with it a lot. Like, I also his ears like I do not like that's just like it looks so cartoony right now. I need to work on that. Okay, be right back. Need water. Ah, oh my god. Ah, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm back! Oh yeah, you're right. Thank you for pointing that out. Let me fix the eye bags. 
it's like more pronounced. Let me move this here so people can see it. Um, let's do that. It feels like more stuff like this. See, and people say that I only sculpt pretty girls, right? I'm like, this is the prettiest girl of them all. <laughs> um, I'm gonna work on the ears because they're pissing me off. Okay, so I'm going to um, do this thing. Okay, amazing. You know what, I... I'll just fix my problems. Um, by the way, Paul and Joseph are streaming on this channel too, but not very often. Um, pretty girls are harder to sculpt by far. No, 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 not in my opinion. I have, like, for me, it's so easy. Um, but I also, it's something that, like, I, because I have so much practice, I don't think it's fair for me to say that. Um, I think if I sculpted, like, a lot of duty dudes, I could, um, mm, I would probably be very fast at that as well. Um, but you know what? I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I th thought that this would take me longer and I would do worse. But I actually uh, feel like I got to a stage that is not bad at all. I'm like, hmm, three hours. Well, yeah, like two hours actually. No, because I've been working on this. Um, first hour of my stream was completely like non-existent, right? So I'm like, hmm, less than three or like two hours or something. Less than two hours. I don't know. I'm bad at math. Okay, sorry. Um. Because I've never, like, honestly, I've never sculpted something like this before. Which is why I'm doing it. Um, and I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. It's a guy. Um, interesting. I also find pretty girls are more challenging to sculpt while well, faces like these are not as challenging. Mm -mm, no. But it's like, that's the thing, is I think, um... This is a very mm, typical thing with um, men, right? I feel like usually it's like it's easier to sculpt what you personally are closer to. So it's like if you're a guy, you're usually you have an easier time sculpting guys. And the same thing for women is like if you're a woman, you'll have an easier time sculpting other women. Um, there we go. Oops, that doesn't look that great. Okay, let's go down. Subdivision levels. Um, this is awesome for such a short period of time. Thank you. Um, mm, what is going on? Uh, can you please do the thing I want? That would be amazing. Thanks for sort of doing the thing I want. There we go. Hello, computer! Felt like Dexter just now. It's like computer. Oh, I haven't watched Dexter in so long. Also, okay. <laughs> Don't do this. Why? Why do you have issues sculpting on something that's five million polygons? What is wrong with you? I never used to have issues like this. I'm like, hmm. Okay, so with eyelids, actually, I want to go over something very interesting. Is like, it's important to have um, a certain amount of like flatness where it's like it feels like it's actually folding right so it's like 
there's a certain amount of thickness you want to have, right? And so in order to make it feel like forms are actually like moving on top of each other. So you would do something like that, tone it down, right? And that feels way more like, you know, things are actually moving. Same thing with this, it's like build it up. Um, like creating contrast and shapes is very important, which is why I'm like, okay, well, put like sag over here or like whatever. Um, it's like this is where the brow bone would be. So it's like I'm looking at this and I'm like, I feel like this is from, if you look at it over here, it's too round. Like there's not a clear break in forms. Um, so I kind of try and make sure that that happens. Um... There we go. Uh, yeah, I think so. Female faces are more delicate and therefore it is easy to make a mistake. While the beefcake space marine, you can go crazy and get away with it. And even as character, that is my experience at least. Well, I feel like that's the, for me, it's the opposite where I feel like, oh, because it's delicate, it's so easy to cheat. Because it's soft, it's not defined. I mean, it's not defined. Obviously, there is a certain amount of definition, but it's like so much simpler because of the fact that I'm like, oh, I can cheat with this all I want, um, right? And so, let's add like some amount of something over here, bring that down. is like feeling way too concave if that makes sense like the forms don't feel like they're lying on top of each other um yeah streaming is apparently cpu demanding and zbrush doesn't use gpio at all uh yeah there we go feels better um let's go back to that other material i was using yeah, I love this material. This is great. So now I'm just like adding form. So it's like there's a contrast. You can really feel all the shapes, right? Um, actually, I like to use the standard brush for this because it's like it's good for building forms. Um, but I'm gonna lower the intensity to like five or something. All right. Well, maybe like seven, actually. Um. Um. What do you mean cheat? I don't know how to elaborate it, but for me, it's just like um, when you have something that like. You have to be more precise with male characters, I feel like, because everything's kind of, like, sharper. Um, and... Oops. Oops. Okay, let's... Also, this is, like, accelerating way too fast. Um, I don't know. It's just, like, because it's less defined, you just don't have... You don't have to define it. It's, like, you... Uh, you, it, uh, you focus on creating an impression, right? Um, um, do layers save in a Z tool, or is it only with a Z project? Z tool. I never save Z projects. I have not saved a Z project in, like, 50 billion years. It's like I only did that at the beginning when I was learning ZBrush. Let's see. Like that's not that concave on him though. 
but I prefer the look. That's my problem. I'm like, uh, but like the shape itself, it's like too uniform. So this is good. Uh, now it's too clean. Yeah. I think I'm okay with that. Um, let's check this from the bottom, make sure everything's moving correctly. Ah, okay, so that comes out too much over here. Should be more over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, so eye bags definitely need some work. Um there we go. Better. Mm. Um Let's see if anybody's saying anything to me. I think it's easier to draw, sculpt, and paint women due to the organic flowing of curves. Men seem so boxy and rigid in my opinion. I don't know. No, I agree. I think that from like a design standpoint, I feel like feminine forms are, they follow the, what is it? The golden ratio much more. Um, I don't feel this way about, like, dudes so much. Um, let's see, what can I do? I'm, like, looking at more pictures of this guy so I can, uh, so I can see what's going on with his jaw. Actually, let's... Yeah. Oh, wow, well, okay, so... This is actually, I think, come on, like, lower, like, longer, more out, more in, there we go. Oh, that does not look, wow, that doesn't look good. Wow, I hate it. <gasps> wow, I hate it. Oh my god, no, I was like, I was so happy with what I was doing, and now I'm like, nope, it sucks. I prefer that, I think that looks so much better. Let's go back in time. I still think, yeah, that, compare this! To like, that? Like, what? It got way worse. Okay, we're gonna go back in time and like, yeah, this is cooler. Um, yeah, every now and then you gotta do that. Um, let's do that. Um, I think his jaw moved to the left, just like the nose. Would you be willing to take requests as a challenge? Next week, do Sam and Dean from Supernatural. No, 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 no. I'm like, I sculpt what I want. <laughs> um, no, sometimes, sometimes when I don't know what to do, um, I ask people to give me recommendations, but I'm never, I don't take requests because I don't always agree with people's sensibilities, right? So I'm like, some, it's a hit or miss, usually. Um, Tomorrow and wait, wait. Um, Maru. Somewhere in in between, maybe the longer chin. Yeah, his chin is not All right. Like that looks more accurate to me. So this just needs more build up. I feel like there we go. There we go. 
Um, I feel slightly better about it now. Um, let me check if anybody's saying anything. Um, yeah, okay. Back to the point of what's going on. Also, okay, so I have 15 minutes left. Whoa, party, right? Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm gonna look at some more reference of this guy and see how I can improve this. Um, there's a lot of pictures of him just like kissing people's cheeks. <laughs> Pretty funny. What? Whoa! Huh, what? I'm so confused. Okay, um... I love that picture. Amazing. Whoa, that's like a perfect profile. Whoa, crazy, 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 crazy. That's great. So I found this amazing photo. Perfect. Oh my god, that is so perfect. I am so happy. Actually, I'm just going to like... I can do the thing where I do the see-through thing. I can actually match this properly. This is not like super perfect. He's slightly turned towards the camera, but it's like almost perfect, so. Okay, yeah, so the proportions are like off somewhat. I'm like trying to see if I can match this in a good way. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna do it with the eyes because I don't want to mess with the eyes, right? I don't feel like, okay, perfect. Let's see how that. W oh, Oops. while is saving, I guess. Thanks. Oh my god. Ah, oh, my poor, poor thing. Um, crazy how his cheekbones work. I know, right? So weird. Okay, can you move? Thanks. It's a much bigger nose than I would have thought. That's the thing that I think is very interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's do that at a way lower subdivision level. Come on, stop being rude. Some bad matches. And, um, no, let's just do this. Wow, he's like huge. Okay, and ears should be like way more like this. Go over here and bigger. And like oh, this should go back. How does that look? There we go. Um, let's see how that looks. Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, I need to, I was like, this is weird. And then I'm like, oh, I need to move the eyes back somewhat
Yeah, I think this guy will just look so much better with like asymmetry. So I'm gonna, I have like 10 minutes left. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. And, um, you know, so I have something presentable. Not loving how I'm doing the eyebrows, but whatever. Oh yeah, and the mouth looks weird. I was like, why does it look like that? Oh, and oh wow, what is that? I'm like, how did I, how have I been sculpting this whole time and like not notice how not good that looks? Um, right. Cool. There we go. Oh, too smooth, but whatever. Uh, the top photo is a close up and has lens distortion. I know. It's very distorted. Um, um, hey, Donna. Looks great. Thank you. Um, uh, what's going on? Is anybody saying anything? How are you doing this half opacity screen thing? Uh, there's a see-through slider. Woo, party time! <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me look at the photos of this person so I can, you know... Bye, side effects! Thanks for showing up! Um, sleep well. Um, this guy is so weird. I can't get over it. And that's a good picture, actually. like very pronounced in here oh he's older in that picture that's why it's oh very interesting actually like this form is so much more pronounced than that one photo that i just found like this shape over here and then let's pronounce this over here um let's do this do 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 um I'm just not the fan of like the eyebrow area, but whatever. Um, I also keep thinking his eyes are just smaller than what I got. Um, I love this picture. Yeah. He just seems so much more apathetic. Oh, you know what? And it's like higher too. There we go. There we go. Something, 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 something. Huh. Um, I think it's better to break symmetry. I would have done that for a while now. Yeah, I, I did that, um, like, earlier in the stream. I did an example of how I would have broken the symmetry. Um, 
But yeah, I'm gonna do that right now, actually. Because why not? Um, let me do that. Just give him something. I'm like, if there's stuff that I can do symmetrically right now, I want to do that. Okay, so I'm quickly going to. Come on. Do things. Okay. Um. I need a better picture of his face. Um, there we go. His nose is like... Like super slanted to the side. Also, I feel like... Okay, so this is like... It's just more form. And yeah, there we go. This is getting better. He just seems to be more like filled in in this area. Um, also just like has more of this going on. Um... Tip of the nose is divided a little bit. Oh yeah, I see that actually. Okay, let's do that. Oops. Come on, stop doing this. I'm gonna give him like some cartilage also. Oops. Come on, stop being rude. Um, do you use Wacom Cintiq 24-27? No, I use this beautiful bamboo fan that I bought 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, okay, so I added that. Honestly, like, I'm just like, I'm just gonna noodle around for three minutes. Um, maybe like add some like wrinkle related stuff. Like this. Um, give him like a very mild facial expression or something. Oh wow, I just found like a really good photo of his nose. I've been thinking about noses a lot lately. <laughs> it's like people with beautiful noses. I want one. Mine's okay. Could be better. Um, just like more mass on the bottom. So let's go lower. Something like that. I know. That's a form in that area. Alright. Um. Oh, interesting. I never noticed that I completely feel like I neglected adding more shape into this area. Yeah, that feels better. I also forgot I was not using symmetry! Shame on me. Um, oh yeah, I have not been using symmetry. Look at that. Mm. 
I'll give him like a forehead wrinkle here and there or something. Um, um, Bad wrinkle decision, by the way. I should not have done that. But whatever, like stuff that, that makes it feel more organic, right? So I'm just gonna give him like a forehead wrinkle. Cause he just has a lot of that kind of stuff going on. Um, I'm like, oh, 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 okay. I gotta stop streaming. I'm gonna give him like something this is not how i would do wrinkles by the way please don't don't judge me um balance that out a little bit okay uh wrinkle not not the best but whatever um usually you want to like when you do wrinkles you want to like go over it a few times right so it feels more organic. Come on! Same thing with like this over here. I would like to break the symmetry around this area. Um, give him a little bit more of like a lip thing. There we go. And maybe like... <laughs> also, like, while I am finishing this up, I'm gonna be like, thanks to everybody who showed up at my stream and also was very kind to me in the chat. <laughs> no, but actually, thank you. Um, makes me feel like I'm not doing this for nothing. Mm, I'm not loving how I'm approaching diapers, but who cares, right? It doesn't matter. Not right now, at least. Oof, the ears are killing me, though. <sighs> okay. I said move. Said, um... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, uh, yay! Oh my god, everybody's thanking me, and I would like to thank you for thanking me. It's, uh, it's great. Okay, and um, maybe like make the earlobes pop out. Oh! Interesting, I didn't realize that this was not out enough. Okay. So let's just quickly... I'm sorry, I'm like prolonging this. I'm really horrible. I am so sorry. Um, uh, sorry, but I'm gonna stop now. I'm going to... Believe me, I'll do it. Uh, I just, I just can't let it go on this note yet, just yet. Not just yet, there we go. And, and, right. Your shape, different. There we go. I think this was, this is, all right. Um, there he is. Um, let me move this stuff over here. Actually, I have issues with the corners of the mouth. Oops, uh, unintentional. Okay, whatever. Good enough. Good enough. All right. Um, yay! Thank you, everybody. Um, okay, I'm done. I am good.
this is great. Um, I mean, it's not, it could be better, obviously, but I, I did a thing. I'm so sorry for all the technical issues earlier in the day. Um, oops. Um, and yeah, so... Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye. Um, so, one minute, one minute, yeah, there we go. All right, thank you, people. Have a great Sunday and life. <laughs>